Mukhtar is liable. For years, these activists representing families killed and injured in Libya have been coming to this U.S. courthouse trying to convince a judge that Khalifa Haftar should be held civilly liable for what his forces have done in Libya. And on Friday, the judge agreed, saying he is financially responsible for torture and extrajudicial killings. Haftar didn't testify in his own defense, but those suing described indiscriminate crimes against civilians, including the bombing of a hospital. They bombed it, and when this, uh, this Libyan uh, person, he, he attempted to run into the building and save people from the building, and he was hit by another, another bomb that, that was shelled over the hospital, and, and he ended up dying. Uh, you know, these are the common folks. Though suing also hope this impacts his political future in Libya. The message that is being sent is that how can you allow a criminal who has committed egregious crimes and who is being held responsible in front of a fair court, you know, for his crimes, how can you even have the, the notion that this man can stand in an election? Haftar has not been convicted of a crime, but the lawyers hope it will uh, still be costly. It's rumored he has mi hundreds of millions of dollars, perhaps more, around the world. Up next, the judge will decide what he'll pay for what she's now said he's done. Then they'll begin the difficult task of trying to find his assets and seize them. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Alexandria, Virginia.